गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप दैट यू ऑल आर कीपिंग वेल एंड हेल्दी एट होम सो टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू पोएम दैट इज आफ्टर द स्ट्रॉन्ग बाय विलियम वर्ड्सवर्थ सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस सी अबाउट द पोएट विलियम वर्ड्सवर्थ सो विलियम वर्ड्सवर्थ लव नेचर and has written many poems describing the beauty and bounty of nature here he describes one of nature's mood the joy felt by birds and animals in the morning after a stormy night so students please pay attention first of all let us see the first paragraph so first stanza not paragraph stanza we always use stanza in poem and paragraph in chapters or stories so now let's see the first stanza there was a roaring in the wind all night the rain came heavily and fell in floods but now the sun is rising calm and bright the bird are singing in the distant wood over his own sweet voice the stock dove broods the jay makes answer as the magpie chatters and all the air is filled with pleasant noise of water so here the poet says in the first two lines that after a stormy tells us about the stormy night about the night which it rained really heavy and after that night he goes for a walk in the next morning now here in the third line the poet says and tells us about the brightness which the next morning brought in with itself so here the sun is shining really bright the poet is telling about the sun which is shining brightly and it tells about the brightness which the next morning after the heavy rainfall night brought in with itself so the birds are chirping and singing so what the birds are doing the birds are just uh, singing and they can also feel a uh, happy and fresh atmosphere with the sun shining brightly you can see here and uh, now what it says that the sun is shining brightly and what it is doing it is soothing and making the atmosphere very pleasant now the birds are singing here with the fresh atmosphere and the sun shining brightly and the day becomes very soothing and pleasant now the sound of water is also adding to the beauty of the day you can see here the water the noise the pleasant noise of the water is also adding the beauty of the day so the birds the birds here are you can see stock dove jay and magpie so stock dove jay magpie are birds of different kinds thought by the speakers as different persons as indicated by the use of capital 
letters and what is brood the birds who sits on its egg to hatch them so here these four birds are also very much happy to observe the change in nature after the rain and they are also enjoying the weather they are enjoying the nature and they are very much happy to see the strange and uh brood is uh, when the egg when the bird is sitting on the egg to hatch them so that is what is the meaning of the word brood so these birds are very much happy and the sound of the water which is coming from the river so river fall uh, that is also adding the beauty of the nature and the beauty of the trees so all things that love the sun are out of toes the sky rejoices in the morning bird the so now let's move to the next uh, paragraph all things that the sun are out of doors the sky rejoices in the morning's birth the grass is bright with rain drops on the moors the hare is running races in her mouth and with her feet she from the plashy earth raises a mist that glittering in the sun runs with all with her all the way wherever she doth run so now here what the poet wants to explain so here the poet tells us about the creature who loved the warmth of the sun and came out in order to feel the warmth the brightness of the sun so um here uh, you can see some of the creatures who really uh, love the warmth of the sun and uh, come out in order to feel the beauty of the day the sky the grasses you can see the sky the grasses are uh, the hare all are enjoying the day the hare plays with the soil and what he is doing he is playing with the soil and loves about uh, swiftly and he moves about swiftly it seems as hare is playing and what he is doing he is playing and enjoying the um, mud uh, muddy waves so he is the hare is running feet through up a small cloud of water drops this shines in the sunlight and follows the hare as it runs so here what happened let me tell you the poet here tells us that the hare is rejoicing the day so the poet tells the creators who love the nature who are loving the sun shining there was observing that the sun is shining brightly and the sun has raised up and the hare is also playing with the soil and with water droplets 
you can see here the hare is playing with the water droplets as he is running he is running on the pools of water the puddles of the water that are being made because of the rain and he is running on that because of that the water droplets have been coming out and they are shining because of the sun rays as he that means the hare is uh, enjoying the weather as he is very much happy so the mud is having fun to having joy that is enjoyment it seems as if the hare is playing and admiring the beauty of the pleasant day as all these animals and birds are very much happy when we when because the nature has brought a change within itself so i hope you have understood this poem thank you so students here is a short summary of the poem after the storm by william wordsworth is about the morning which came after the rainy night the poet feels overjoyed when he went out for the morning walk during the that morning so the poet here tells us about uh, the night which rained heavily and the next day that the morning has brought the brightness with itself so the singing of the birds is stock dove jay magpie and the pleasant uh, voice of the water which is falling from a waterfall makes the nature very pleasant and soothing and after that uh, the the birds that are chirping and singing the clean and fresh atmosphere with the sun shining brightly all made the day very soothing and pleasant so um after that the poet tells us about um the animals first it has told us about the birds now it tells us about the animals the animals uh, who really um uh, means uh, enjoys the rain so here uh it tells us about the animals which are really enjoying that day especially the hare hare is the male version of rabbit so hare is also enjoying the the sound of the water is also adding the beauty of the day the poet tells us about the creatures who love the warmth of the sun and have came out in order to feel the beauty of the day the sky the grasses the hare all are rejoicing the day the hare plays with the soil and moves about swiftly it seems as if she is playing and admiring the beauty of the pleasant day and uh, the uh change which nature has brought to them so here this is all about the summary of the poem i hope that you will uh, write the full poem in your copies whenever you will receive it don't ask that miss the copies has been submitted in the school the next monday when you will get your copy don't keep it pending as today we have received some of the copies with incomplete work 
and many of the students have not completed their work so please do complete your work at home stay safe and stay healthy and do your studies properly thank you